you go, everywhere you look, you find color in your life. Beautiful colors are a pleasure to see. Some are nature's colors, the color of flowers, the color of animals, the color of the sky, the mountains, and the countryside. These are some of nature's colors. People often use colors to brighten the world in which they live, and for other good reasons as well. What a drab place the world would be if there were no colors. Although beautiful colors are a delight to all, Colors also serve us in many other useful ways. As an example, when a traffic signal turns to red, everybody knows that this means to stop. The cars wait while the light is red. When the light changes to green, the motorist knows it's time to go. Air Force planes that fly over oceans are painted with bright colors, the easier to find should they be forced down at sea. Colors are used in building radio and television sets. There are hundreds of parts in a radio. Some are so small, it's hard to print certain very important numbers on the part. Many of these parts look much alike. Yet the builder knows they are different, for each is painted with certain colors. Each color stands for a certain number, and each different part is colored in a different way. This method of identifying things is one of the many ways that color is put to work. People prefer eating foods that are beautifully colored to less attractive fare, as has been proved by food packing companies. Did you ever wonder why light colored clothing is cooler in summer than dark? The reason is that light colors reflect more heat than dark. This scientific experiment with a light and dark colored box offers proof. A thermometer, reading 70 degrees, is placed in the light box. The box is covered, and another thermometer, also reading 70 degrees, is placed in the dark box. The two covered boxes are allowed to stand in the warm sun for 20 minutes. Then the two thermometers are checked again. The temperature in the dark box rose 30 degrees. The thermometer in the light box shows a temperature rise of only 14 degrees. The difference in temperatures proves that the light color reflected much more heat than the dark. Although most plants are primarily green in color, the blossoms of the same plants run to a great variety of colors and shades. People are so fond of flowers that many farmers grow them as a crop. Millions of farm-grown flowers are shipped all over the country throughout the year to brighten our homes and hearts. Yet, there's a very practical reason for the color of flowers. Each flower is a seed of the plant upon which it grows. To become a good seed, it must obtain pollen from another flower of its own kind. This happens in several ways, one of which is done by insects, particularly by bees.
The bees fly from flower to flower, gathering sweet nectar. It's believed the colorful flowers help attract the insects. Pollen sticks to the animal's legs and is transferred when the insect moves from flower to flower. The color of the flower helps attract the insect. And the insect does the job of transferring pollen. This is one of nature's reasons for coloring flowers in many vivid hues. The color of animals is not accidental, but is the result of thousands of years of gradual development. The deer's color is much the same as the animal's surroundings, making it difficult to be seen by enemies. The prairie dog, also a hunted animal, has a similar color for the same reason. Lions are good hunters. Their sandy color is better suited to a successful hunt than a bright shade of red would be. Of course, not all lions are hunters. Some are still hunters to be. Notice the protective coloring of the peafowl and her chick, while the peacock is brilliantly colored for the purpose of attracting a mate. Of all the colorful birds in the world, the cockatoo is one of the most brilliant. In its native surroundings, the polar bear lives on snow and ice and has a white coat to match. This bear lives in a dark forest and has a black coat to match. Of course, some animals seem to have colors that serve no useful purpose at all. But even with the zebra, there's probably a good reason why nature has colored this animal in the way that she has. Now here's a defenseless little caterpillar that's colored exactly like the plant upon which it feeds. Do you see it? Right in front of you. Look closely. This insect is colored like something it is not. Although it looks like a wasp, it's actually a harmless little moth. And while some insects imitate other animals, man tries to imitate the color and form of certain insects. This is a specialty with some fishermen who make clever imitation insects for catching fish that are attracted to their colorful bait. Another example of how colors are useful. Wherever you go, wherever you look, you too will find ways in which colors are useful. The use of color to help identify things. The use of color to keep things cool. Nature's use of color to help in pollination and for protection in the world of animals. These are but a few of the ways we see that colors are useful, working for man and nature alike.